160 yards from where the former president was speaking. And according to a Wall Street Journal report, the Secret Service allegedly did not sweep that building. Instead, they relied on local law enforcement to check it out. The advance was an absolute disaster. Couldn't have been worse. Rookie mistakes made. 48 hours after the assassination attempt on former President Donald Trump, the Secret Service is fielding a lot of questions. The agency's director, Kimberly Cheadle, issuing a statement on Monday, writing in part, quote, The Secret Service is working with all involved, federal, state, and local agencies, to understand what happened, how it happened, and how we can prevent an incident like this from ever taking place again. Obviously, there was a breakdown in that outer perimeter. We're still trying to investigate, or not we, but the FBI and the Secret Service and other agencies are trying to investigate where that failure was. There's also questions about a report that a police officer confronted the shooter just minutes before he opened fire. When the gunman pointed his weapon at that officer, the officer quickly retreated down a ladder, and that's when the gunman took his shot. Florida Congressman Corey Mills spoke with Fox 35 and called this a massive security failure. I applaud, as did Eric Trump and the family, the CS counter sniper team who reacted and mitigated the threat, but also his actual detail themselves who did an amazing job. But that doesn't mean that there wasn't some type of a negligence or an oversight that had been made that resulted in this perimeter collapse, which resulted in the security breach to begin with. During a White House press briefing this afternoon, the press secretary urged the public not to jump to conclusions and let law enforcement officials, quote, do their job. The investigation is still in its early stages and the shooter's motive is still unclear. Live in the Alert Center tonight, Hannah McKenzie, Fox 35 News.